Good morning, guys. Happy Tuesday. Welcome. Welcome back. Um, I have a pretty long video, so I'm really going to get into it pretty quickly because I have a lot of things to show you. So today's video is basically me showing you all the things as inclusive as I could possibly make it of all the things that you can get from the Dollar Tree to use in your journals, your junk journals, um, planners, anything like that. Um, of course, it's not all inclusive and they're always bringing out new things, but these are the things that they have usually like most of the time. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get started and I'm just going to randomly pull and if I have examples of how I use them, I will do, show you that as well. So the first thing that I'm going to show you is the craft paper. So these, this craft paper comes in rolls like this and you get it where they have like the mailing envelopes and tape and all that stuff. And it's a pretty big roll. You get um, 30 inches by 13 feet. Now they changed it up a little bit. It used to be a little bit darker. So now it's just a little bit lighter and it looks a little bit different, but it's still great to make pages in your journals, especially, especially if you want them to all be the same. So this is definitely going to do really well for that. That's what I use in mine. If you don't want them to be the craft paper color then you can get this one this is from the like the teaching tree section at the Dollar Tree and this is just banner art paper you don't get quite as much you get about five feet in this one but it's still going to work great for journals and pages and whatever you know you want to use like that then you can also use shelf liner this is a newer print that they have it's kind of bright but this is a newer print, but they have marble, they have the wood grain, they have all types, and this is going to be in your kitchen section, or at least at my stores. Um, this is great to cover your book covers, you know, so if you get like, say you're using a cereal box or some kind of box, this is going to work great to cover that and make yourself a nice, you know, um, decorative book cover. So there, and it'll be protected because it's, you know, a shelf liner. So there's that. Then you can also find vinyl. I don't have a box of the vinyl, but it looks exactly like this. This is actually the faux leather. So that's another thing that I wanted to show you. They have this. Now, I got these when they first came out. And then they just got a new batch. Again, this is just at my stores. Um, and then I bought the vinyl when it first started coming out. And I will say that that first batch of vinyl, vinyl, vinyl that I got worked way better than the new stuff that they have coming out. The new stuff is really thin and my Cricut doesn't like to cut it, it especially if it's real detailed. The first batch that I got, that stuff was fine. I, I use it all the time. I took back all my, like the newer stuff that I got because I just didn't like it. Um, but they have different colors, different prints. You don't have to use it with your Cricut. You can definitely use it as like a book cover. This is going to be great for a book cover as well if you wanted to do like a leather bound journal or a faux leather. Um, and then the vinyl, again, you can use it the same way you would use a contact paper. Just cover up the chipboard or the box or whatever you're using. Excuse me. Um... You can also put the vinyl through, like if you have a die cutting machine, like a, not a Cricut, but like a Sizzix or something like that, and you can use your die cuts and use them for that. They, that would work too. So that, the vinyl, and then they also, along with that, where did it go? Oh, here's, so they have sticker paper or yeah, sticker, what is it called? permanent writable white sticker so it comes in a roll it's uh, 48 inches long and definitely good for your Cricut or again your Sizzix or you can just tear pieces off of it and put it in your you know journal anything like that so if you find any of these things definitely worth the purchase and again I'm just grabbing stuff so <laughs> 
Um, okay, so cutting mats. They have these small ones. As you can see, this one kind of has glue and stuff all over it. But these are great for small projects. Obviously, if you're trying to do something on a bigger scale, this isn't going to work. But this works great for, you know, cutting little things while you're journaling, gluing on, anything like that. This is definitely going to be something that you want to grab. Um, then the next thing, let's see, what do we have here? I'm going to go over here. All right, index cards. They have these and then they have the four by six, I think is the bigger one. And they come, this is an older pack. I don't think they come in 200 anymore. I think they come in 100. This is an older pack and this one has 200. Um, some of the stuff I've just had in my stash and I haven't used because, you know, there's a lot of them in here. Um, but I think the newer packs have less, but nonetheless, you know, you can get index cards if you're, if you're looking for them. You can always find post-it notes. Now you can find the Jot brand, which comes in a multiple pack, or you can find sometimes they'll have the post-it ones. I found this two pack. Usually the, the post-it, the actual post-it brands only have one. So I think this was just like a special one. And this is, um, there's two little booklets in here. So, um, and they're a bit smaller than the Jot brand, but nonetheless, if you're looking for post-its, you know, you can use those in your journals to either just add a flap or something like that. Now this is something new. It's a label maker. I, they don't have the labels, like the label, you have to purchase that someplace else. That's why I haven't opened it yet because I haven't purchased it. It is missing the one and the zero, which I found very odd, but I guess you could use the O as a zero and the I as a one, maybe. So that's the one thing that was kind of weird about that. <laughs> and then if you're in and... You know, you can, looking through the, like, stationery and office supplies and stuff, you're going to find lots of stuff that you can probably use, labels, all that type of stuff. I like getting these self-laminating sheets. You get three in a pack. This is going to be good just to, you know, laminate a little card or anything like that. These work great. I like having these on hand, but they don't always have them in stock. So whenever they have them, it's usually around school you know back to school time so i always grab a few just to have them on hand so definitely look for those and then i always look for these tabs so they have different ones they have these and these are the job brand that they usually have and they're like sticky so you can use those then i always look for like the name brand ones i like these because they're colorful and these are the post-it brand you can always find paper clips. Sometimes they have like the decorative ones. I know they had some recently that had like little pom-poms on them, like little balls. But I like these because of the little fringe. So you can always, you know, get those. If you look over, and I'm trying to go through this really quickly because I have a lot. <laughs> um, they always have these little magnetic bookmarks. Mine are always by where the books are at, like on the little plastic strips. That's where they usually have these. So always look for those. And, you know, every store is different, so you never know where you're going to find them. So just look at the plastic strips. Look through the supplies. I had to stop the video for a second. My son woke up. I think I ended up on the paper clips. But, again, just look through your school supplies, stationery, all that stuff. And, you know, you can always find stuff. <laughs> that um you can use in your journals so there's that book rings this one's open but they have different sizes again this is in school supplies stationery office supplies they have different sizes these are the one inch ones and they have one that's just a little bit bigger maybe an inch and a half and then they have like a big two inch one so this one comes with 10 and i think as they get bigger you get less so these are going to be good if you want to do like a you know, a book ring, use the book rings to bind your journal instead of sewing it or anything like that. Um, in the school supplies as well, they have this ruler, but it is a three hole punch in ruler in one and you can put it in a binder. This is good to use it like to hang if you're trying to store it. And obviously you can use the ruler. Um, 
I've only used the hole punch a couple times. It's it only works good with like a couple sheets. So you're not going to be able to find a whole, you know, book or anything. Just a few sheets. This will work great. If you don't have like a single hole punch and you have a three hole punch, you can always just use the one and use that. But I thought that was a great deal. I've had this for a while. I got it during um, back to school time, maybe last year. So definitely look for that stuff. Sticking with rulers, they have metal rulers. This one is not from the Dollar Tree. I gave the one that I had to my son because I found this one. It has the cork on the back, which makes it a lot easier to kind of hold. It doesn't um, slide. The ones from the Dollar Tree do not have this, but the Dollar Tree does sell uh, cork, like sheets of cork. So you can always just get the sheet of cork and put that on the bottom or get some glue and kind of like hot glue smooth it on there it'll help you know keep it but this is going to be great for tearing and it'll give you that deckled edge like that rough edge it's also obviously good to measure with but the metal rulers is going to work great to tear so definitely something to look out for um they have hole punches so always look for those if you need that scissors cutting supplies so they obviously have scissors sometimes they'll have the Westcott brand sometimes they have uh what's that other brand I can't remember what the other brand is then they have like the Dollar Tree the Jot brand so either one of them I always try and grab the Westcott when they have them so I got I have a couple pairs of those all over the place then they have these cute little um like detail scissors in the crafter square section these are going to be great for fussy cutting, anything like that. Definitely want to get a, a pair of those. Then they have in the Crafter Square, like these detail edge scissors, or I don't know what they're called. I think they're called detailed or edging scissors or something like that. But definitely um, look for these because, you know, they don't work really, really great. They're not horrible. They work okay. I think the, it just depends. You have to kind of find the thickness of the paper that works for your scissors. Because sometimes thinner paper works better for certain, I guess, designs maybe. So it just depends on what you're cutting. So just kind of try it off. Try it out on like a scrap piece first and then, you know, use it for what you're going to use it for. And I don't know. I have to find another pair of scissors. Just a second. Okay, so this was an accidental find or an accidental kind of discovery here. So I needed a pair of scissors the other day and I asked my daughter to bring some. She's 10. She wasn't really thinking. She just grabbed the first pair of scissors she found in the cabinet, not thinking to look in my at my desk, but whatever. She grabbed these and like at first glance, I just grabbed them. Wasn't really thinking. And then I went to cut. And they're thinning shears, which are the ones that we use for our dog. So these are, this is the pack. So I went and bought another pack specifically for my crafting. So these are amazing. If you're making like faux stamps or if you want that edge, let me show you. See if I can show you on paper, I mean on camera. So they're going to give you that little like torn look i don't know if you can see it there but like it gives you that edge like stamps have so <laughs> it's an amazing accidental find there so yeah definitely check out the pet section for these scissors or anywhere else but these i've used them a couple times now and i love it it's gonna i mean it makes for a great little torn edge look so there's that the crafter square rotary cutter is a mate or roller cutter is awesome i love them i have a bunch of them floating around a must have i love it for cutting paper anything like that i couldn't find my dollar tree box cutter but that's another i'll take a box cutter from dollar tree over like their little craft knife that they have in the crafter square section that thing is horrible. So 
I don't recommend that one if you want something like that. Get a box cutter from the uh, tool bench section where like the tools and all that stuff are at. Get one of those. This is not from there. The one they have is black and yellow. So I just couldn't find it. So I just grabbed the first box cutter that I found. But it's definitely better than the little craft knife that they have. So get one of those if you're looking for it. Another thing that you have to have is one of these letter openers. It's great for tearing paper. Great for tearing paper. Cutting paper. Real quick. One, two, three. It works great. And it comes in a pack of two. And it's in the stationary uh, school supplies and stuff. Must have, must have, must have. Then, let's see. So, everyone, oh, I don't have my all in front of me. But for those of you who like to bind your journals and you sew them and you don't have an awl. And if an awl, if you don't know what an awl is, it's basically a pokey tool, a poking tool. And it helps you make the hole that you're going to sew your seam into. They have these in the crafter square section. I believe this one comes in a pack of two. It has this and something else. I can't remember what else comes with it. Mine has glue all over it. Um, I can't remember what the other tool is, but this is dual purpose. So you're going to use it as now it's not that sturdy. So you kind of have to be careful when you're poking because this tends to bend a little bit. But it also has this on this side, which can double or which you can use as a bone folder. So definitely worth the $1.25 to get this. Like I said, it comes in a pack of two. I just cannot remember what is what the other tool is. So you get a bone folder and an all in one. So definitely grab yourself one of those. Go ahead. Oh, um, and then... If you've never seen these face rollers, this is new, so you may not have seen them yet. They, I know they have the jade one, which doesn't work as well because it's not flat. So these are new, they're flat, and definitely works great as a brayer, and it's the perfect size to use like on journals because it's not, brayers are usually a lot bit wider. This is gonna, This works great. This one, I need to get another one because this one has glue <laughs> all over it or maybe just clean it up. They're not the, you know, like the roll kinds of stuff. It stops to roll, stops rolling after a while. Um, just, it was a dollar. So, but it's definitely worth it. It works great for journals to kind of smooth out, you know, your ephemera or anything like that. So definitely look for this. It's in the skincare, makeup. All that stuff so definitely get your seat mine is crooked now I think I have to adjust it so that I can use it properly but yeah so this is a must-have in my opinion then another thing from the makeup skincare all that stuff it's a matte a silicone um, mask applica applicator but this works great to kind of help push things down if you're trying to you know smooth anything out with glue this works great and the glue doesn't stick to it so I have that I usually use that when I'm using hot glue because then I don't burn my fingertips but you know that's neither here nor there you can use either one another makeup tool that is a must-have is this contour brush it works great when you're stenciling so if you have a stencil you put it on the paper you just lightly go over it it works amazingly amazing it is where'd it go so this is what the Package. I think there's a bigger one too. I don't do makeup. So I, this one says it's a contour brush. I think there's a bigger one. I don't know what that's for. So depending on how big your stencil is, you know, you can pick one or the other. I like the smaller one just so I can use it on my smaller stencils and you can use it on the bigger ones too. So definitely a good tool to have. Um... <clears throat> Excuse me. So next thing is, what else am I looking for here? And if there's anything that I have that I don't have, like a package for or whatever, I'll, I'll pop a picture up just so you can see the packaging and kind of know what you're looking for. Another thing that you should have is this sewing, like hair sewing kit. It comes with three needles in three different like shapes. You got the rounded one and then you know, you got the curved one and then you've got 
the straight one. And then you get a thing of thread. It's not the thickest thread, but it's good thread. I use this for my journals all of the time to like bind them all of the time. This was my first kit <laughs> that I had. So definitely worth it to get that, you know, the needles to use to bind, oops, to bind your kits. You get your thread. If you, um, if you're looking for different color thread or different like thickness, like a thicker one, you know, I know most people say use some wax, um, some like wax thread. I use the cotton twine, baker's twine, anything like that. It's strong, it works, and you can get different colors. So this is what I buy from the Crafter Square section. You know, that's what I get. So you can find that there. And I'm really trying to get through this stuff as quick as possible here. All right. Uh, next thing, next thing, next thing, tape. Let's go into tape. I love the double-sided tape from the Crafter Square section. This is what I, you know, you can use this for pockets. You can use this to tape your ephemera down, anything like that. It works really well, in my opinion. You don't get a whole lot of it, so I don't know if it's something that you would want to buy if you use a lot of tape. I don't. Um, generally, I glue everything. So I have this for my pockets and stuff like that. You know, every once in a while, I'll use it. Um, but definite, and if you're like giving, uh, if you're giving a journal to somebody, this is always good to put on the back of stuff. So if you want to give them ephemera so that they can put it wherever they want, this is the best stuff here. I don't like the double-sided tape, like the job brand. It does not work. So this is, this is your, your go-to there. Duct tape. They have decorative duct tape. This is usually in the, like the tool section. They have different colors, they have different designs, and they're always coming out with new stuff. This is going to work well to put like on the seams of your journals. You know, you just go down there or on the inside so that you don't have like just this plain duct tape. This is always going to work. It's not the best, so you might have to add a little bit of glue, but it does work. You know, it serves its purpose. It works well. Um, all right. So then tape, we're going to do... I know it's not washi tape, it's like decorative tape, but washi tape. Washi tape from the Dollar Tree. The stickiness is not the best, so take your, you know, glue stick, put a little glue stick on, you know, on it, and it works great. It's They always have really cute ones, like these are from the Dollar Tree, and then, you know, I've gotten quite a few of them from there. That's from the Dollar Tree, that's from the Dollar Tree, that one's from the Dollar Tree, and then... This container is from the Dollar Tree. I love it. It fits my washi tape perfectly. So, you know, it doesn't close that great, but these are sitting on a shelf for me, so it's not that big of a deal. Um, but yeah, these work great for storing washi tape as well. So there's that. I have a few more. Well, I have quite a few things. Ribbon. Always find your ribbon there. Um, not always. You don't get a whole lot. So obviously you can go to Walmart. I think this is like a Walmart brand that they had at Dollar Tree. I think at Walmart they're like 99 cents. But if all else fails, you know, Dollar Tree. They also have this one that's like lace that's really pretty and great for like vintage, older, you know, if you like that vintage look. It's going to be great because it's like beige and it works great. So, but they have all types of ribbon, different colors, different styles. They come up with different stuff for the holidays. So, you know, always keep an eye out for that. Then what else do I want to show you? I got this um, shoe polish from there. Obviously it's a tiny little bottle. This is one ounce, you know, this is great for edging, you know, doing uh, the edges stuff like that it works great so definitely um you know and then i made this leather journal using shoe polish the faux leather and this is what i use so definitely you know you can either get that from there or anywhere else but if you find these i mean these are a great little small bottle to have on hand um what else okay so let me see we're gonna do fabric so you can get oops, oops you can get fabric from dollar tree you get these uh how big are they 18 by 21 
they're usually just cotton fabric different prints you can use them for your covers for the inside to make ephemera with make little tabs anything you know but they're good because you don't have to get like a whole yard of it and you know they have different prints that are really pretty so definitely worth in my opinion the dollar and then they've recently come out with these little bags of fablet, fa fablet, fa fabric strips. Um, you get 20 of them and they're one inch by 36 inches. So they're, I mean, they're long and this is going to be good again, to add some edging to your journals, anything like that. So look, keep, a, keep an eye out for that type of stuff. Then let's talk about glue. Okay. Let's talk about glue. Now, Dollar Tree, at least my Dollar Trees, always have these little two ounce bottles of Mod Podge. You can get the matte or the gloss. Those are the only two that they have. So definitely, you know, keep an eye out for that. Um, so what else? Okay, so this foam and poster board adhesive, it's from, it's by Beacon. Same company that makes Fabri-Tac and Fabri-Fix. Now, let me tell you. This stuff, this stuff works just as good. I tested it on the same fabric. This is the same, you know, type of fabric. So this is the one from the Dollar Tree. Excuse me, I have the hiccups. <laughs> this is Fabri-Tac and this is Fabri-Fix. And it sticks the same. And actually, yeah, it sticks the same. Like I'm pulling it and it sticks exactly the same. It has the same feel and everything so if you can't find fabric fix go to your dollar tree i'm gonna show you again and get yourself some of this definitely cheaper because even the bottles that i have like this of fabric fix that are about the same size are like five dollars now so find yourself some of this i'm telling you it's worth it it's worth it then i haven't tried this yet and i am going to I found this puzzle saver and I'm wondering if it's going to work like um, collage podge or like using Mod Podge. It says laminate and preserve and it has like a little like a spatula kind of to use with it. So I don't know. I haven't used it yet. We are going to see. I'm going to try it. I mean, if it saves a puzzle, I can only imagine it'll save like a collage. So I'll try it and see. I haven't tried it yet. But we will see. I'm, I'm ugh, can't talk for master boards or anything like that. I think that might work. So we'll see. I'll try it out and let you know. But you know, it's glue. <laughs> then always be on the lookout, especially during like back to school time, for name brand glues. So there's this Bostic and this one's multi purpose adhesive for crafts, wood, paper, and fabric. And this one's fine and wide. So you get like two, you know, the wider applicator and then like the pinpoint applicator. Just found these randomly. And um, I think they work okay. I mean, I've tried them. They both work fine. So just always keep an eye out. Like I found this during back to school. This works, in my opinion, it works great. It's Avery. Um, it works great like this is you know you get this from staples and it's a big tube like the um scotch create it's about the same size as that glue stick and it works fine so you know that's definitely a good buy then um what else so then the next thing i was thinking about i haven't tried it yet but if you like to do art journaling and doing splatters and stuff like that this might be a great buy i had like i said i haven't tried it yet it's uh tempera spray paint so i'm wondering if i use a stencil or something and spray it over it again this is something i haven't tried yet but i thought maybe it would work for art journaling i don't do a whole lot of like art journaling and painting and stuff but i think it might work really well for stuff like that now my about half an hour and I probably got about another 15 minutes so stick with me it's worth it I'm telling you all right so then they always have this okay so paint um chalkboard paint they always have this craft wise chalkboard paint this one um works great in my opinion 
I use it all the time and it works good. Then you can always find like name brand, not always, but they'll bring in like name brand ones. This one is Martha Stewart, but they always bring in like random stuff. So there's that. Now this is their regular everyday, you know, paint that they have and it works okay. It's not like the best paint ever, but it works pretty good. So, you know, if you're just going to use it to kind of paint on your journal, I think it would be okay. Um... And then, so that's it for that stuff. Then if you're looking for like fasteners and stuff, these are okay. Now they also have the hoop and look or hoop, hook and hoop, hook and loop <laughs> fasteners like in the tool section in a strip. So I think those might work a little bit better than these, but these are okay. Like they're, you know, those serve the purpose. You might have to either sew them in or glue them in just to make sure that they stay because the adhesive that comes on them is not that great. Then these are going to be good. Like these bottles like this are a little bit harder. And I know sometimes it's harder to like squeeze. These are softer and they squeeze a lot better. But they do have pretty big like holes in them. So, but that's so, it's still going to work great. You can just put it all in there. If you get like the big bottle and you don't want to have that big bottle on your desk. You can always, you know, transfer it into one of these and then that way you have it on your desk. The next thing is these tools. Now, this scraper is going to be good to smooth things out if you don't have a brayer or you can't find that face roller. This is good to smooth stuff out on your journals if you're gluing things down. And then this craft picker is going to be good for like stickers and vinyl and all that stuff. You can kind of like pull it up, pull the corner up so you can peel it and whatnot so it's good to just kind of have on hand all right so then the next thing is these little i like these these little um peel and seal coin envelopes because they're so small but they also have big envelopes the security envelopes which are going to be great to make little flips and stuff like that so always just look at envelopes and all that type of stuff um, and then from the like mailing section or even it depends where they have them stationary, they have all these different like labels and stuff. So here, so I've gotten these and I've gotten these and these, which I think these are the cutest. So, I mean, always check that section, really check every section because they always bring out like different stuff but those are going to be great for journals and what have you then <clears throat> they have die cuts or cutting dies so they have this one they have a bunch of them these are the ones that I have um in my stash is these cute little hearts and actually I have another set that's why this one's still together but I always keep an extra one just in case and then this little corner it's like the great for making little corners and stuff and they kind of give you an example of how you can use them but I like to use these on the corners of pages so and they work fine they work great um, then they have stamps so these are the two that I have they have these which I think are just cute and then they have these and there's also uh, four more sets I think I think there's a total of six there's one that has birds there's one that has um, like dream catchers I can't remember what the other ones are, like llamas or something like that. So there's like six of them. These are the only two that I got. I'm not a big fan of birds, so I don't, you know, use them that often. But I think I have purchased them all, and then I ended up taking some back because I'm like, I'm never going to use these. But these are cute. So I got those. Canvas. This one's opened because I was trying to figure something out. But they have different sizes. They also came out. Where'd it go? With black canvas. I like the black canvas. I haven't seen it in a while. I only bought one of each and I'm kind of upset that now I don't have any more. But either way, the canvas works great for binding your journals or like putting on the outside. You can't bind it with those, but to kind of give it that book look, that works great. So this is the black that I had. You can always get the, you know, get your white ones and paint them whatever color you want before you put them onto your journal. But I just thought this like made it look so classy, kind of made it look like an actual book. 
so yeah so i got that and it's gonna you know help keep it from getting messed up so it's definitely a great idea for that and again if you get the white then you can paint it whatever color you want and then you have you know your own little uh personalized you know kind of edging there <clears throat> next thing that i like to get is paper they have these little tablets scribble pads and stuff these are the kids ones now the reason that i like these is the paper looks kind of vintagey because it has like that tan look to it and they're thin and they're great for journaling putting in your journals using it for ephemera i love these and they also have a really big one that's the one i like to get to make journal pages out of so if you find these definitely grab them and worth it for sure my nose is itching then they always or not always but during back to school graph paper is definitely you know something to grab from there i like grabbing it you know whenever i can find it they don't always have it so but check the paper notebooks all that stuff which notebooks they have different sizes different prints the insides are always you know different they have dot grid ones. They have lined ones. Sometimes they have ones that are just plain. So definitely, like this one has cute little butterflies in it. These are going to make, you know, even if you just want to use the notebook as a journal without, you know, making a journal and then you just want to decorate it, that's going to work great. But again, they have different colors, different sizes. So always look at those and they always come out with new ones. There's always new ones. Another good thing that I like to find are these little blank books. These are in the teaching tree again, and they're just blank pages on the inside. They have different covers on them and each one has 16 pages. So you can take the cover off and just use these as signatures or you can, and then you know you can cut them down to size if you want to or if you like the square they're like um maybe eight by eight i'm thinking something like that so definitely you know if you want to just use it so then you have four signatures and you have yourself a journal right there so always look for those then they have these poster boards they also have you know regular size poster boards and then they have some that are like half the size I don't I didn't have any in on hand these were the only ones that I had um, but definitely definitely worth it I think I actually got these at Dollar General the ones from Dollar Tree are like half the size but they're the same it's a poster board I use them to make my master boards and that's why I got this one which is bigger um, but like I said Dollar Tree has ones that are just a little bit smaller they're gonna be great for master boards they're not like super thick but they're not too thin so that's why i like getting those then let's see so folders now these are plastic folders like poly folders but they also have cute decorative folders they have file folders they have all types of folders little pouches anything like this is going to work great to either store stuff or use the smaller ones in your journal so definitely look in that you know look into that then these chopping mats these chopping mats are obviously in your kitchen section you get two per pack this is great to glue on you can cut on them but they kind of get all scratched up really quick but you get two of them so you know um these can make great covers they can make great separators in your journals so many uses for this so i always keep some on hand so you know definitely a good buy this was something that I haven't seen again. I got these when they came out. It's a little silicone glue mat. So I use this one specifically for my glue gun so that it catches all the dripping. But then I have another one that I use to glue on. So you put it on your surface and that way you don't get glue on your table, your work desk or whatever. The glue just peels right off. It works great. So or washes right off. Um, so yeah, so this is definitely a good buy if you can find them. Like I said, I haven't seen them again since then. Um, calendars. Calendars are a great source of like pictures. You can also use the calendar pages, like outdated ones. 
Um, you can use these as pages. You can use them as covers, whatever you want. They're just a great source resource to have as like paper. Along with that, I don't have any here, but like the little picture frames, like the ones that have the paper pictures in them, those pictures are usually so pretty. And you can use them as journal covers. You can use them in your journal. So always look through like the art section and find like the, they come in frames. They're like framed paper pictures. And those are always so cute. Gift bags. Gift bags are going to be great to use. I mean, for to make a journal out of. So there you go. You fold it in half. You have yourself a journal, depending on how big, you know, the bag is, how big you want it. And then you'll have cute. I'm actually going to be making a journal out of a gift bag soon, hopefully, prayerfully. So, but yeah, gift bags. And then sometimes they just have really cute designs. So you can just, you know, glue them onto a cover or whatever make ephemera out of it, you know, you cut the little ties out, cut whatever little picture is on there, glue it to a page. So always look at the gift bags and Dollar Tree always has really cute ones. And then they usually have like cute little gift tags. And speaking of gift tags, so like in during holidays and stuff like that, gift tags are always a good thing to have because you can always cover them up. They're always a good little shape. So always look for those things. Doilies. Oops, is that upside down? Yeah, doilies. <laughs> um, obviously, great buy. Uh, you get 32, I think. 30 something. The 32 of them. You can coffee stain these, coffee dye them, food coloring, anything like that. Leave them as is. Use them as a page. Use them as ephemera. Cut them. Put them on a corner of a page. It's definitely worth it. Then if you get wrapping paper, like the wrapping paper from the Dollar Tree, not always the best quality, but it'll be great to use in your, um, you know, like in your journals. But the reason that I buy <laughs> um, Dollar Tree paper is because the, the roll that it's on is not really glued together. It's not a roll. It's this. So once you're done using it, you unroll it and it's thick. It's a thick piece of paper. And it works great to make faux leather. It works great to use as a cover, um, to make ephemera pieces. And then again, you can use the gift wrap, you know, also. So definitely look at those. Then um, paper. So they have scrapbook paper. I'll put a picture of it up in a corner somewhere. You only get a couple pieces. I, I've never bought any of it, but it's like cards, not cardstock, just like scrapbook paper. Like I said, I've never bought any from there, but you know, if you're looking for a particular color or anything like that, and it happens to be there, I mean, I guess it's worth it. Then they have these paper packs. And if I remember, I'll put a picture of how they look at the store. So you know what you're looking for, but basically you just get a bunch of paper pieces they have different prints they have different sizes they have different I have a whole bin full because I bought a couple of them when they came or not a couple I bought like three or four of them they have different colors these are going to be great just to add pieces to your journals I mean they have like different textures different colors some of them have foil let me see if I can find it out see like some of them have foil pieces there's so many different colors different prints and everything like I said they have different sizes like these are just strips so I didn't cut these this is how they came in the pack so again if I find the picture or if I go and take a picture I'll put it up here so you can see it um so yeah so that's definitely worth it and then storage you can always find storage they always have different sizes this is like a shoebox size one got this from Dollar Tree works great to store things they don't always close that great but you know it is what it is it's great to just kind of put things in um a few last few things here so window clings these are from christmas but window clings they have them for different holidays great to just kind of glue into your journal use on a cover you know anything like that these little um wallpaper pieces 
they they're sticky and they have different prints and different designs i think these would be great to put through your die cutter put use as covers if you want to whatever you want you can use them as a sticker so that's always a good deal um these little wall decor pieces I'm going to use this for my daughter to put in one of her little journals because she likes to make journals and I thought these would be really cute. You do have to add a little bit of glue to the back of them, but they still work. And these are poster stickers, so they have letters. They have a lot of letters. These were just ones. I found different shapes and stuff too, but these were the only ones that I've had on hand. Um, but they do have like poster board letters and stuff like that, so... You can always, you know, use stuff like that. Stencils. So they have stencils like this that kind of come on this little um, thing where you can just kind of see it's like a wheel. So, you know, these are all, they have different designs. Some have words, some have prints, some have, you know, different stuff. Then they have self-adhesive uh, stencils, which are great too. Um, then... I'm sorry, my phone is acting weird. Then they have like regular stencils, which I don't think I have anymore. Those are the ones that I have here on hand. They have like regular plastic stencils that you can use as well. Stickers. If you can find these, these are a great buy. It's chalkboard stickers. You get two sheets, good to cut up, make labels, but they also have chalkboard labels. I think I left those downstairs and they come in shapes kind of like this. And it's a bigger sheet but these are going to be great these i love using these and if you've never been on my other channel before i love stickers and this is only these are my dollar tree stickers <laughs> only some of them so i love stickers love stickers love getting my stickers from dollar tree so definitely go through the sticker section because you will not be disappointed they have amazing amazing stickers um, and I think that is it. Let me, um, let me check my list here because I had a bunch of stuff. Greeting cards. Okay, yes, I'm glad I looked at it. So greeting cards. Always, always, always look through the greeting cards. This is a greeting card. This is the whole card. I use the card as a journal cover. And then I just kind of added a piece of cardstock to the back. To cover up the wording you know how it has like hallmark or whatever on the back covered it up and then i used the envelope that came with it made a pocket up here and then i just decorated it now i stitched this one on the side i didn't do it like in the binding like i usually do but see how i used a doily page just all kinds of little scrapbook paper some of these are those pages that i had from my little scraps there oh this is probably one of my favorite journals um but this is just a greeting card from the dollar tree and then i put some stickers and stuff on there so greeting cards always 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 go through the greeting cards because they have some good stuff um let me see make sure i got everything storage i went over storage oh in the gift wrapping section the tissue if you want to decoupage anything like the gift tissue is going to be great. Or even like during, like in the party section where they have the napkins and stuff. Definitely a good thing. On my DIY channel, we are going to be doing a uh, collaboration next week, next Saturday. And we're going to be using napkins and tissue to DIY with. So if you're interested, I'll put that information in my description box. Uh, I showed you the scissors playing cards they're gonna be great for ephemera Dollar Tree has regular playing cards and then they have like bigger ones sometimes or even if you go into like the book section or the teaching section they have like flash cards and stuff that are a little bit bigger you're gonna get different sizes so you can use those as tags as journal cards cover them up with paper tape whatever you want to do with them those are always going to be good and then like board games, the Dollar Tree always had, like they'll have board games, but really they're just like, like, hmm, like boxes. <laughs> the, the, the boards are just like boxes, which are going to be great to make journal covers and stuff out of. So 
just keep that in mind kind of look at those if you're ever there i mentioned folders um showed you the glue just want to make sure i got everything posted excuse me um had the hiccups all morning um paper pads just you know that's going to be great to have paper fine paper from i showed you the tab dividers three ring binders you can get those they're smaller they're not as sturdy but they'll be good to kind of store things in like your stickers or ephemera and stuff like that I told you about the pictures and then i told you about the gift tags so i think that's everything and i did it under an hour i wanted to be wanted it to be shorter but here we are um that's a lot of stuff so definitely you know check out dollar tree um for your supplies you know junk journaling is supposed to be, in my opinion junk journaling is using junk but sometimes we need other things stickers glue washi tape you know sometimes it's just nice to have extras and you don't always have to just junk journal you can make an actual just journal out of paper and you know real paper and a notebook and stuff like that so Definitely check out Dollar Tree and I will probably, oh not probably, on Thursday I will have a Thrifty Thursday video coming out. It's already scheduled so check it out. I think I have a premiere going for it if you want to see the things that I get from thrift stores that I use to make my journals. And that is it for this video. If you are not subscribed, <clears throat> please hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit the notification bell so you are notified every time I upload a video. And if you stayed till this, <laughs> all the way to the end, um, put a, see if you can find a book uh, emoji and put a book emoji in the, in the, in the comments for me, just so I know, you know, that you made it all the way to the end. So I appreciate you guys so very much. And that is it until next time. Be blessed and be the reason someone smiles. Have a good day. Bye.